Hello everybody, it's me Madison and welcome back to another part of our Sims 3 Lepacy Challenge. We are on part 8 and we don't currently have an heir. So that's like, whoo, 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 scary. But in the last part, we did actually have a baby. We had little Mr. Peter Watts, which is Madison and our founder's brother's child, Callum. Uh, this is their little son, and he is just happy to be alive, obviously. He's just so stinking pleased to have left his mother's womb right now. Oh, he didn't get to wash. Listen, he didn't get to wash the dishes yesterday because he was a little bit busy uh, at the birth of his child, you know? But we had baby Peter in the last part, and also in the last part, we discovered that Ileana is pregnant and it could potentially be with Julian's son or um, or daughter but the fact that we've had like three babies born in this world and all of them have been boys where's the girls where's the girls okay I'm not getting notified about the baby girls so I don't know if Ileana's pregnant with a boy or a girl in Ras makes me want to say a girl but I would be okay with the boy um I think it'd be cute for little Peter and like maybe Julian's like his like cousin to like grow up together ah oh, that'd be so cute for like them both to be boys and I don't know Peter has perfect traits for world adventures so perhaps he can join his uh, cousin on some adventures but I'm getting ahead of myself um repair a TV we can certainly try and get to that so in this part, we are going to wait in for uh, Ileana to have her baby and see if it's a boy or a girl and if it is indeed related to Julian. And we also should try and invite over Miss Zelda because he wants to get to know her. Oh my goodness! Bailey and Iqbal Avi appear to have taken their relationship to the next level and are now expecting a child? after experiencing what appears to be an unfortunate software failure. Yes, it totally sounds like Bailey to not get pregnant on purpose. It's definitely a surprise. And, and uh, oh my, with the bun in the oven, Bailey and Iqbal have decided to get married. Oh, she showed up to your wedding, Iqbal. She showed up to your wedding. Okay, um, that makes sense though. She didn't want to have a baby out of wedlock, but um, wow wow they are married she is expecting a baby julian is now like maybe expecting a baby and is not even anywhere near in a relationship so that's insane why don't you come over here and change peter's diaper you can talk to him give him some love and affection look at this he wants to talk to zelda so he just got off work and not only does he want to invite her over but now he wants to talk with her and while these are not romantic interactions, it does have me leaning more towards Julian getting with Zelda instead of Morgana. Because what we've seen with Morgana up here in the corner, she is getting to a place, like a happier relationship. Um, I would really love if you could actually, real quick, hold up. Could you, um, nope, wait. Okay, why don't you read that? Hopefully, so that I can have you talk to her and keep that. And Callum earned a promotion. Fan freaking tastic. Good job, Callum. Your baby and your mama. Okay, and our poor plants are just dead. They're dead. Let's plant some new ones. I just forget that they're there, despite the fact that they're in the front of the house. I forget. He wants to buy a high chair. Do you want to buy a high chair for your nephew or because you're about to be a father in and of yourself? Like, <laughs> who are we buying in this high chair for? After he's done taking care of the plants, I do want him to come and take care of his son because not only does he want to hold him, but I want him to build up a relationship with him. And then why don't we have Madison go cook dinner for everybody? Jillian... A Nasari. Okay, there is my baby girl. Aisha and Xander just had a baby. Technically, her last name should be Clavel. Because she... Clavelli? 
Okay, Simmons finds Madison attractive. That's not what we wanted to know. Uh, he finished his wish and now he's going to pass out. How is your relationship with your little boy? Huh? Okay, you guys are so cute. So cute, but not really who I'm interested in right now. Let's have them woohoo. Hopefully they don't have another baby. <laughs> I would. I don't want her to get pregnant. I just want them to woohoo since they both want it. And I am waiting for, uh, like, the baby. I am waiting. I'm excited because if it is his, then we will have a baby. Not in, like, the uh, manner that I wanted, but we will have one. It will count. So I'm kind of just looking for, I'm looking ahead. I'm excited. Ah, it's here. It's here. It's here. <laughs> oh, my. A romantic engagement between Ileana Langerak and Julian Watts has resulted in the birth of a child. How should Julian handle this delicate matter? <laughs> so, in future generations, there is totally the possibility that we can try and do this and try not to claim the baby, but I think Julian would want to. He's a hopeless romantic, and this is his child, and he wants to be a father so badly, so he would definitely claim the kid. And Ileana is also, like, heartbroken over what happened between her and Julian, so maybe claiming the kid, taking responsibility for the kid, Maybe we'll go back to Eliana. I really, per I would prefer Zelda, but also, like, what kind of complicated relationship will Zelda have with this stepchild if they get married? Because the stepchild would be her, not nephew, niece. Her, it would be her niece. So, like, what would that be? Anyway, he's obviously going to claim the kid. But, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ileana just gave birth to a baby boy. <laughs> Where's my women? Where's my girls? Okay, Irving. Guys, listen. Listen. I was totally prepared to keep the baby's name, but I am not keeping the name Irving. Not Irving. Okay, I'm sorry if your name is Irving, but I'm not going to keep that name, okay? I'm not going to keep that name. We can keep the I. While I originally wanted to name the baby something with a W or a E or a Z, I'm not telling you guys the actual name because we're probably going to use it later, I will keep the I, and I think we can do Ian. Ian, um, and it would totally be Watts. Okay, it's going to be, I think this is the correct order. I'm not actually sure which order this will be, but Langrak Watts is going to be his name. Poor Ian. That's a really insane name. And now he wants to get married because he's have, he has a little baby. Oh my goodness. Uh, he wants to get married. Can you maybe chat with her over the phone? Will that count for you talking to Zelda? Because I want to save that wish of him getting married. Eliana just gave birth to a baby boy named Ian. Ian, not Irving. Dear, dear, not Irving. He is athletic and a virtuoso. How cute. Oh my goodness. I love him. I, I love him already. I love him so much. He wants to kiss somebody. <laughs> I wanted you to befriend all your coworkers, but now he wants to kiss somebody. Dude is like, okay, okay, I, I waited, I did my time, where's my wife? <laughs> where's my wife? Okay, instead of yelling at the kid, why don't you feed him and give him attention that he needs? Dad will go back to sleep. Aw, Layton and Jamie got married. I love those two together. They are so stinking cute. I can't wait for them to have a little baby. Maybe a girl. Where are my girls? Literally, where are my where are my women? Where are my women? Okay, he's going to get ready for the day. He is going to go to work, and then he is definitely going to go over and see his son and discuss with Miss uh, Ileana what happens next. It looks like Parker, maybe perhaps with a new baby. Yeah. 
at the house, you know, and, you know, tensions are high between his uh, parents, Parker has decided to move in with Aaron. Look, has gotten fed up with living with Ileana and has moved out to find greener pastures. He is so mad at his mom for cheating on his dad. And like, no, totally understandable, reasonable. He has that right. Um, and now he's moved out. Does he live? I wonder if he lives over there with Miss, lives like as our neighbor, because that would be awkward, you know, since, you know, we did that. Alrighty, the only person at the house right now is Madison and of course Peter um, and she is just now waking up and doing her chores for the day. It looks like we have some bills to pay so we'll have her go do that. Take a shower, probably spend a little bit of time with Mr. Peter who ages up in three days. So we have a little bit of time until he ages up. And I think I'm just going to kind of speed on through until Julian can go visit his child because Julian is the main character of this challenge. So even though we have little baby Peter, he is not the main focus, okay? Again, again, he is being asked to go work in politics. <laughs> No, why? He wants to be in business. My goodness. Okay, Justin has left work and he is going to visit his kid. He's going to the Langrax house. So hopefully we'll see the kid. When I had him come over here, Zelda. Okay, now his son is the only buddy here. Only person here. Well, obviously if our kid is the only person here, we're gonna come say hello. Hello? Um, Ileana, where are you? Why can why is our kid the only person here? Okay, she's on her way. While we wait for Ileana, I'm gonna have him read this book for his career. I don't know when she was coming by. Okay, here she is. Let's come over here and visit the house. Yes, we're going to go visit her house that she just walked into, but we'll be leaving the group. We'll be leaving the group. Okay, so... He's like, I am here to see the little baby. And he's going to come snuggle in automatically like, hi, little baby. This is your son. Look at this, Julian. This is your child. This is your child. You contributed to this. He just picked up Ian. He will always remember how incredibly soft Ian felt in his arms. Aww. Okay, why don't you rock? Look at Ian. Babies look fantastic in this reshade. Oh my goodness. Let me get a little picture of him with Ian. So stinking cute. I want him to have a good relationship with the kid. I have a feeling, I don't really know if he will be living with us because I mean, we might have to have this discussion with Miss Ileana, who is just over here swimming. Maybe she would prefer if Ian moved in with us. I honestly don't, I don't know, okay? I have no idea what we are going to do and wh if where, you know, Ian is going to live with us, but eventually I do think he will move in with us, but for right now, um, he's going to live here with his mom and we actually need to buy him a little crib So let's actually buy on this lot and Make some stuff over here for Ian. So Parker. This was Parker's room and now Parker Parker ain't here no more. So 570 simoleons we can buy a Cute little crib. I have the cocoon crib, which just made a reappearance We'll put this crib here and sell that and buy some toys for the little guy we'll get him this little pirate chest and let's maybe buy a rug for this room because right now he's a baby but then he's gonna be a toddler and he's definitely going to need a comfortable space i think i like this rug in here um for right now We'll put a little train set in here for him and maybe some custom content blocks. 
you can't actually play with those, but I think they're cute. Oh, that's kind of scary. Let's not put that in his room. We'll, we'll terrify the poor kid. Okay, so I think we'll do this. It's nothing like super fancy, but he is just, he's just a baby right now. And when he does grow up, this will be good for him. But there we go. There's some child support. Okay, let's go give, we're going to give him a little bath. Cody land grab. They did have another baby and it's another boy. Where are my girls? Where are my girls? This world is going to be populated by boys. <laughs> Where are the girls? But they had another baby, and Cody doesn't really fit the land grab name, but it's fine. Look at how cute this interaction is, you guys. He is bathing his son. And then I'm definitely going to have him go put Ian in the crib. And is... Okay, Ileana is right here. Let's come over here and talk to her. Let's applaud her hard work. Be like, I can't imagine the pain you had to go through to birth our son. And I appreciate the fact that you went through it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely. I keep thinking this is Ian. This is not Ian. Did y'all woohoo? Did they woohooed? No, they didn't. She's on a different bed. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with Peter? Everything. Uh, change his diaper, give him a bottle, coo at snuggle. You can then put Peter in the crib. Why don't you come get some food? You can get some food. You can go pee. You can go to sleep. And then I'll have you do the same. Okay, so he is, oh, let's come back over here to Julian, who is talking to his baby mama and kind of just, I mean, see what's up because yeah they now have a child together so we need to kind of figure out how this works she says we're her best friend but i honestly have no idea if he even is still let's see if he's still attracted to her connie connor and tori are now committed to each other we'll see if it lasts they are still ten. They still find each other super duper attractive, which is great because they have a kid together. But I just honestly, I don't think I see these two dating right now. I really am leaning more towards Zelda, who is not home right now. Um, let's see if maybe we can, let's go home. We're going to head home and see if we can invite Zelda over to our house and spend some time with her. But yeah, we did give our kid a little bit of a room. So now he has somewhere to sleep, which is nice. And we're going to leave before Dustin gets mad and starts throwing punches at Julian. We don't really want that. We don't want that. So let's invite Zelda over and see if she will come over. She just got a promotion, so maybe she just got off work. Sweet, she's gonna come over. Lovely. He's. I don't think he's gonna like kiss her or anything in this part because he just had a baby with her sister. But we will definitely, here she is, sweet. Let's come over here and greet her. Nope, don't clean the dishes. You don't have time. Come say hello to Miss Zelda. Hello, Zelda. How are you doing? Sup? Hi, cute stuff. How you doing? Let's ask about her day. Uh, get to know her. Um, praise. Okay, you guys. He, we can ask her to break up with Gobias. And I think we're going to have him do that. Let's just see if she will break up with him. And it seems like we're taking a good idea because Morgana and Thornton are very happy right now. Um, you know, right, things are over between me and Gabias. Gabias might be pretty upset with you, though. But that is okay because we have our future lover ready for the perfect moment. But I am going to end this part here. I hope you guys had a good time meeting little baby Ian or Irving.
but that's not his name anymore, you guys, okay? We changed it. Um, I hope you guys are okay with the choice of Zelda. I just thought... I mean, we, she doesn't get any wishes to spend time or hang out with Morgana, and she is currently appearing very happy with Thornton, so Zelda seemed like the better decision, and she's just so cute. Oh my goodness, but anyway, you guys, I'm excited to spend more time with the babies in the next part and just have a fun time getting to know Zelda a little bit more. I will see you guys all in the next part. Adios, au revoir, salut, hey du, goodbye!